Sue Rider is a charity that provides end of life services for people living with long term conditions and uh, end of life conditions such as cancer or end stage heart failure, renal failure. We look after people who, as I said, are at end of life but we also see people who are just struggling with particularly difficult symptoms and we may see them for a short period and then they no longer need our services and they may come back onto our books. So it's kind of a, a flow depending on what the need is. The Duchess of Kent Hospice was not what I expected. I had experienced a hospice in Glasgow when my mother died there and this was far different from what I experienced many years ago. My wife was diagnosed with a really terrible uh, illness and um, one of the designated nurses in the the Royal Bart suggested that we should seek a professional nurse and that's how we got in touch with uh, Sue Ryder to get one of the community nurses. All of the nurses who work with us have been specially trained. Um, sometimes that's with you know specific courses but a lot of it is actually working with the Sue Ryder values and beliefs um, and really have a real empathy with patients and families. We have a 15 bedded inpatient unit here. Um, it's all single rooms with ensuite bathrooms. And we provide care for people who, for many reasons, are not able to be at home. Now that is very often for short spaces of time, so people will come into the inpatient unit maybe for a week, 10 days, depending on what their need is, and then they would be discharged home into the community again with the support of our community teams. Sometimes people come here for end-of-life care. I've worked at Duchess of Kent now for um, about eight years and the first thing that I was able to identify with was the high level of compassionate care amongst the team. I've not worked with nurses that um, are so dedicated and um, hard working to provide the care that the patients and their families need and that's across the board that's the nurses and the care staff and the wider team and it's an absolute privilege not only to work for Sue Ryder Duchess of Kent but also to work with within the team. Working at Sue Ryder is very rewarding often um, people will ask me where I work and when I tell them that I work at the hospice they often say that must be a really sad place to be but in actual fact it's it's really not it's the it's the opposite it can be full of laughter between the patients and the families and between the staff which actually makes it a really rewarding happy place to be the staff overall at Duchess of Kent were fantastic particularly the, the nurses who are in the hospice when my wife, my wife died in, in the Duchess of Kent they were there uh, to hold my hand, to hold her hand, to not tell me what to do, but not, not even give me advice, but just to let me share my thoughts and, and the decisions I was having to make uh, at a very difficult time. So fundraising and donations are really important to us here at Sue Ryder Duchess of Kent Hospice. We do receive some statutory funding, but it's simply not enough to carry on the services that we do here. So we need to raise approximately £1.2 million each year, so we really do rely on the generosity of our supporters. We're so grateful for the support from our fundraisers and our local communities. Without them, we simply wouldn't be able to provide the care and support that we do. The most re rewarding part of my role is hearing and seeing the feedback that we get from patients and families that we know we make a real difference to. We can't change the outcome of what is happening to patients, but we know we can make a real difference to the journey that they're on.